हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज धर्मवीर सर हियर सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विथ चैप्टर टू इलेवन ऑफ ग्रेट ट्वेल्व मैथ्स विच इज थ्री डायमेंशनल ज्योमेट्री इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू फाइंड द डायरेक्शन रेशियोज एंड डायरेक्शन को साइंस ऑफ अ गिवन लाइन एंड द टॉपिक ऑफ टूडेज वीडियो इज इक्वेशन ऑफ ए लाइन इन स्पेस ओके अंडर डिफरेंट कंडीशंस हाउ विल यू हाउ विल यू ऑप्टेन इक्वेशन फॉर लाइन इन द स्पेस सो लेट्स स्टार्ट the first is vector equation of a line that passes through a given point whose position vector is a and parallel to a given vector b is given by r is equal to a plus lambda b is given by r equals to a plus lambda b where we have a point a point a having position vector a and uh, it is parallel to a, the direction of a given vector b so the equation will be r equals to a plus lambda b where lambda is some constant now this was the vector equation now if we have a point x1 y1 z1 having the direction cosine l m n or the direction ratio is abc then the equation of the line in the cartesian form is x minus x1 upon l equals to y minus y1 upon m equals to z minus z1 upon n or in terms of direction ratio it will be x minus x1 upon a equals to y minus y1 upon b equals to z minus z1 upon c so point is given and its direction cosines are given then we use this formula to find the equation of the line so pause and note down these equations next we have the direction the vector equation of a line that passes through two points whose position vectors are a and b if we have two points having the position vectors a and b then the equation of the line is r equals to a plus lambda into b minus a where lambda is some constant and uh, in the cartesian form if you have two points having the coordinates x1 y1 z1 and x2 y2 z2 then the equation of the line is, is x minus x1 upon 1 x2 minus x1 equals to y minus y1 upon y2 minus y1 and z minus z1 upon z2 minus z1 so if the points are known we can find the equation of the line using these two formulas first r equals to a plus lambda b minus a in the vector form and the second one x minus x1 upon x2 minus x1 equals to y minus y1 upon y2 minus y1 equals to z minus z1 upon z2 minus z1 clear so pause and note down these equations uh, next we have if theta is the acute angle between two lines r equals to m a1 plus lambda b1 and r equals to a2 plus lambda b2 then theta is given by cos theta is equal to modulus of b1 dot b2 upon modulus b1 into modulus b2 or theta is equal to cos inverse magnitude of b1 b2 upon b1 magnitude of b1 multiplied by magnitude of b2 clear and if x minus x1 upon l1 equals to y minus y1 upon m1 is equal to z minus z1 upon n1 and second line is x minus x2 upon l2 equals to y minus y2 upon m2 equals to z minus z2 upon n2 are two equations of lines then the acute angle theta between the two lines will be given by cos theta equals to magnitude of l1 l2 plus m1 m2 plus n1 n2 so first was for vector and the second one is for cartesian form clear so pause and note down these points now the shorter distance between two lines r equals to a1 plus lambda b1 and r equals to a2 plus lambda b2 is given by magnitude of b1 cross b2 dot a2 minus a1 upon magnitude of b1 cross b2 that if we have two lines r equals to a1 plus lambda b1 and r equals to a2 plus lambda b2 then we have b1 b2 a1 a2 and we will use the formula b1 cross b2 dot a2 minus a1 upon b1 cross b2 magnitude and whole magnitude clear and if the equations are in the cartesian form that is x minus x1 upon a1 y minus y1 upon b1 z minus z1 upon c1 and uh, x minus x2 upon a2 equals to y minus y2 upon b2 equals to z minus z2 upon c2 then we use this formula to find the shorter distance between them that is the determinant of x2 minus x1 y2 minus y1 z2 minus z1 a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 upon under root b1 c2 minus b2 c1 whole square plus c1 a2 minus c2 a1 whole square plus a1 b2 minus a2 minus a2 b1 whole square 
So it is very simple. Find the determinant, keeping all the values of a1, b1, c1, a2, b2, c2, x1, x2, y1, y2, z2, z2. You'll get your shorter distance between these two lines. Clear? So pause and note down these points. So before we start the exercise, I would like just to say that for this particular chapter, you need to learn all the formulas because all the sums are mostly formula based. You have to apply direct formulas. Okay, so you need to remember the formulas. So keeping all those formulas in mind, let's start exercise 11.2. And the question one is show that the three lines with the direction cosines 12 upon 13 minus 3 upon 13 minus 4 upon 13 first line. Second, we have 4 upon 13, 12 upon 13, 3 upon 13 second line, and 3 upon 13 minus 4 upon 13, 12 upon 13 third line are mutually perpendicular. Okay, so for the first two lines, L1, L2 plus M1, M2 plus N1, N2. If you multiply them, you get 12 upon 13 into 4 upon 13 plus minus 3 upon 13 into 12 upon 13 plus minus 4 upon 13 into 3 upon 13. If you multiply and simplify them, you will get L1, L2 plus M1, N2 plus N1, N2 equals to 0. And if L1, L2 plus M1, M2 plus N1, N2 equals 0, then the lines are perpendicular to each other. Now for the second and third line, again using same L2, L3 plus M2, M3 plus N2, N3 and putting the values, we will get 4 upon 13 into 3 upon 13 plus 12 upon 13 into minus 4 upon 13 plus 3 upon 13 into 12 upon 13. We will get 0. So again, since L2, L3 plus M2, M3 plus N2, N3 are equal to 0, therefore the second and third lines will be perpendicular to each other. And for the third line, L1, L3 plus M1, M3 plus N1, N3, we get 12 upon 13 into 3 upon 13 plus minus 3 upon 13 into minus 4 upon 13 plus minus 4 upon 13 into 12 upon 13, which is equal to 0. So again, we have L1, L3 plus M1, M3 plus N1, N3 equals 0. Therefore, the first and third lines are perpendicular. Hence, we have proved that the three lines are mutually perpendicular to each other. Clear? So pause and note down the solution. Moving to question 2, show that the line through the point 1, minus 1, 2 and 3, 4, minus 2 is perpendicular to the line through the point 0, 3, 2 and 3, 5, 6. So we know that the direction ratio of the two lines joining the points A and B is x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1 and z2 minus z1. So direction ratio of AB will be 3 minus 1, 4 minus minus 1 and minus 2 minus 1. So we get the direction ratio as 2, 5, minus 2, which is a1, b1, c1. And again, direction ratios of the line joining the points c and d, that is 0, 3, 2, and 3, 5, 6, will be obtained by using x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1, z2 minus z1, which will be equal to 3, 2, 4. Suppose this is our a2, b2, c2. Now we have to show that they are perpendicular. So we are going to find a1, a2 plus b1, b2 plus c1, c2. Putting the values, we get 2 into 3 plus 5 into 2 plus minus 4 into 4, which is equal to 0. So since a1, a2 plus b1, b2 plus c1, c2 equals 0, therefore the given lines ab is perpendicular to the line c d. Hence proved. Clear? So pause and note down. Moving to question 3. Show that the line through the points 4, 7, 8 and 2, 3, 4 is parallel to the line through the points minus 1, minus 2, 1 and 1, 2, 5. Now again finding the direction ratios like the previous sum we get the direction ratio of the points A, 4, 7, 8 and B, 2, 3, 4 using x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1, z2 minus z1 as minus 2, minus 4, minus 4 which is our A1, B1, C1 and uh, finding the direction ratio of the point C, minus 1, minus 2, 1 and D, 1, 2, 5 we get 2, 4, 4 as A2, B2, C2 so for parallel lines we know that A1 upon A2 should be equal to B1 upon B2 should be equal to C1, C1, C2 and here we find that these ratios are minus 2 upon 2, minus 4 upon 4 and minus 4 upon 4 which is equal to 1, minus 1. Therefore, since the ratios are equal, therefore AB will be parallel to CD. Clear? So pause and note down the solution. Find the Cartesian equation. Question 6. Find the Cartesian equation of the line which passes through the point minus 2, 4, minus 5 and parallel to the line given by x plus 3 upon 3 equals to y minus 4 upon 5 equals to z plus 8 upon 6. Now we have a point 
on the required line is minus 2 4 minus 5 suppose this is our x1 y1 z1 so the equation of the line in the cartesian form is x plus 3 upon 3 y minus 4 upon 5 and z plus 8 upon 6 okay now the direction ratio of the given line are the denominators we know the standard form was x minus x1 upon a y minus y1 upon b and z minus z1 upon c so a b c where that the denominators were the direction ratios so the direction ratios of the given lines are 3 5 and 6 so the equations of the required line will be x minus x1 upon a equals to y minus y1 upon b equals to z minus z1 upon c which gives x minus minus 2 upon 3 y minus 4 upon 5 z minus minus 5 upon 6 so the required equation is x plus 2 upon 3 equals to y minus 4 upon 5 and z plus 5 upon 6 clear so pause and note down the solution find the vector and the cartesian equations of the line that passes through the origin 5 minus 2 3 so we have to find the vector and cartesian equation passing through the origin and 5 minus 2 3 now the vector equation a is the position vector of the point here the point is 0 0 0 so we have vector a is equal to 0 i plus 0 j plus 0 k and uh, vector b is equal to vector along the line so o a vector is position vector of a minus position vector of o so we get 5 minus 2 3 minus 0 0 0 so which is which will give 5 i minus 2 j plus 3 k so we know that the vector equation of the line is r equals to a plus lambda b so putting the values of a and b we get r equals to 0 plus lambda 5i minus 2j plus 3k or r equals to lambda into 5i minus 2j plus 3k so this is the vector equation of the line now coming to the cartesian equation now direction ratios of the point line oar 5 minus 0 minus 2 minus 0 3 minus 0 so which is equal to 5 minus 2 3 we have used this equation x2 minus x1 y2 minus y1 z2 minus z1 now and the point on the line is origin 0 0 0 so suppose that is our x1 y1 z1 so using the cartesian equation of the line x minus x1 upon a is equal to y minus y1 upon b equals to z minus z1 upon c we get x minus 0 upon 5 y minus 0 upon minus 2 and z minus 0 upon 3 so the required equation in the cartesian form is x upon 5 equals to y upon minus 2 equals to z upon 3 clear so pause and note down the solution moving to question 10 find the angle between the following pairs of lines we have r equals to i have to solve the second part for you r equals to 3i plus j minus 2k plus lambda into i minus j minus 2k and second equation is r equals to 2i minus j minus 56k plus new 3i minus 5j minus 4k so comparing the equations with the standard form we get r equals to a plus a1 plus lambda b1 and r2 equals to a2 plus new b2 so here b1 is i minus j minus 2k b1 is sorry b2 is 3i minus 5j minus 4k so and we know that the angle between the two lines is given by cos theta equals to b1 dot b2 upon magnitude of b1 into magnitude of b2 so 1 into 3 plus minus 1 into minus 5 plus minus 2 into minus 4 upon under root 1 plus 1 plus 4 multiplied by under root 9 plus 25 plus 16 so we get 3 plus 5 plus 8 upon under root 6 into under root 15 which on simplification will give 16 upon 10 root 3 so cos theta is 8 upon 5 root 3 so theta will be equal to cos inverse 8 upon 5 root 3 so this theta is the angle between the given pair of lines clear so pause and note down the solution next is question 13 show that the lines x minus 5 upon 7 equals to y plus 2 upon minus 5 equals to z upon 1 and x upon 1 equals to y upon 2 equals z upon 3 are perpendicular to each other now we have the equation first equation x minus 5 upon 7 y plus 2 upon minus 5 and z upon 1 so here it is in the standard form so direction ratio of the first line will be a1 b1 c1 so a1 is 7 b1 is minus 5 and c1 is 1 okay and the second one is so this is our vector b1 so vector b1 is 7i minus 5j plus k now equation of the second line x upon 1 equals to y upon 2 is equal to z upon 3 so direction ratio of this line will be a1 equals to 1 b sorry a2 equals to 1 b2 equals to 2 and c2 equals to 3 
so the second vector b2 is i plus 2j plus 3k so we have the first vector b1 second vector b2 so b1 dot b2 is a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 so we get 0 therefore since a1 upon a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 equals 0 the lines will be per perpendicular to each other clear so pause and note down the solution with this we end the exercise so solve the remaining sums of the exercise and don't forget to solve the examples okay so thank you and all the best